limited data availability. At the planning stage, the auditor may not have sufficient financial data for the current period. At the planning stage, auditors may have limited access to financial data for the current period, which may make it difficult to perform meaningful analytical procedures. At the planning, the auditor may not have sufficient uh, data which he can use to perform analytical procedures, and that is a limitation. Another limitation is the preliminary nature of audits. Preliminary nature of audits. Now, the audit at this stage is still uh, in its preliminary stages, planning stage. The audit has not begun. The is only doing the planning, assessing the risk, allocating resources. The audit work has not begun. So the auditor's understanding of the client's business and the industry may be limited. And that can make it uh, difficult to identify relevant benchmarks or even expect expected results for analytical procedures. Because rather than just uh, coming up with the ratios, you also need information about the industry of which is necessary to in comparison. Another limitation is potential for overreliance. Potential for over reliance. Potential for over reliance means that the auditor may rely overly on the analytical procedures. Of course, we know that analytical procedures can be a valuable tool in audit risk assessment. But auditors should not rely solely on analytical procedures. Other audit procedures such as testing, uh, uh, controls, substantive procedures are also necessary to obtain sufficient evidence to support their conclusions. The another thing could be complexity of clients complexity of clients business. Now for complex clients with the multiple business segments or operations, if you're auditing a client with with the multiple operating segments or branches or subsidiaries, it can be difficult to develop appropriate analytical procedures at the planning stage because you have uh, intercompany transactions, uh, related party transactions, related parties, which at the planning stage the auditor, you may not have much understanding. So analytical procedures may not be useful at that point. We have to give three limitations, but let me give you the fifth one that is related to industry, industry specific, industry specific factors. industry-specific factors. How is it a limitation? 
Now, the appropriateness of uh, analytical procedures can vary depending on the industry. When you say the industry, we mean the industry with, with, within which the company operates. So for example, for example, analytical procedures may be less effective for clients in highly volatile industries or those with unique business models. So analytical procedures may not be effective in certain industries and that is a limitation.